Okay, let's start the electrons. Multiplier with two constraints. Uh, last video we started the large range multiplier uh, in two uh, in one constraint. Now we extend uh, extend this method to two constraints. Uh, Suppose we want to find the maximum and, and the minimum for f, x, y, z. Uh, with a uh, subject to two constraints, g, x, y, z equals zero. And h, x, y, z equals zero. The method is similar with the uh, with one constraint. Uh, the method is as gradient f equals lambda gradient g plus mu gradient h, then g x y z equals zero and h x y z equals zero. So this equation and then find all uh, find all points satisfy this equation and then uh, compare the values of f x y z for all those solutions. Let's take a the example. Find the maximum and minimum of f x y z equals x y plus two z. On the circle, the circle is the circle is intersection of the of the plane and the sphere. The plane is x plus y plus z equals zero. As passing through the origin and the sphere, the sphere is x square plus y square plus z square equals 24. So by the by the method, Lagrange uh, multiplier. The solution is first we take the gradient of f equals lambda gradient g plus mu gradient of h and then g x y z equals zero and uh, h x y z equals zero. The gradient gives us that f x f x is y equals lambda the g x is one h x is two x so that is two mu x and uh, f y is x and that's that lambda times one plus and two mu y And uh, FZ, FZ is 2 equals lambda plus 2 mu C. And uh, then 
is 2 equation x plus y plus z equals 0 and x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals 24. The hxyz, uh, gxyz and hxyz can be equal to some, some other constant but the uh, the first uh, the first equation does not change because after we take the derivative the, the constant all, uh, all constant to be zero Okay, uh, let's uh, use the first one and the first equation that y equals lambda plus 2 mu x and x equals lambda plus 2 mu y. Uh, we can first uh, y square minus x square. Uh, actually, we can subtract the first, the first one into the second one. That is, uh, we sub uh, insert the first equation to the second equation. Then we have x equals lambda plus 2 mu y is lambda plus 2 mu x mm, this may not they may not be equal may not easy to to solve uh, we use this the first one subtracted to the second one, we can eliminate the lambda. So y minus x equals 2 mu x minus 2 mu y. That is y minus x equals 2 mu <coughs> x minus y. Uh, we move them to the same to the to, to the uh, same side or to the right hand side that is y minus x uh, minus 2 mu x minus y equals 0 y minus x x minus y uh, you uh, take take the common factor outside. That is y minus x. That's one minus one plus y x minus y y minus x. So uh, the we can write as y minus x uh, plus two mu y minus x equal zero so that is y minus x uh, one plus two mu okay equal zero so we got y equals x or mu equals negative one half uh, y equals x and then we subject it to the uh, there's two conditions there's two conditions The two conditions that is the first case if y equals x then we subtract to the case one 
y equals x, uh, then subject to the fourth, equa uh, fourth equation, that we have x plus y plus z equals 0, that is 2x plus z equals 0, that is z equals negative 2x, z equals negative 2x, and subject it to the fifth equation. And to the fifth equation, we have x squared plus x squared plus 4x squared equals 24. That is 6x squared equals 24. That is x squared equals 4. So x equals positive or negative 2. So the, uh, so the point we have uh, 2x equals y, so that's 2, 2, negative 4, so the points of all the solution, the solutions are x equals 2, y equals x, z equals negative 2x, that's negative 4, x is negative 2, negative 2, and z is positive 4. The second case, that is uh, mu equals negative 1 half. Uh, if negative 1 half, Mm, negative one half, and we want to solve for z. So we can find uh, insert to the third equation that is two equals lambda plus two mu z. Uh, that is two equals lambda. Uh, the mu is negative one half, so uh, lambda negative 1, lambda minus z. Lambda minus z. Lambda minus z, so z equals lambda minus 2. z equals lambda minus 2. Then we subject it to the first equation or second equation. Or lambda equals, uh, or uh, lambda equals mm, 2 plus z. Because the first equation and the second equation has no z but has lambda, so subtract, uh, insert, insert to the first equation, we got y equals two plus z uh, plus two mu x, and uh, um, x equals. 2 plus z at the second equation. 2 plus z plus 2 mu y. This two equation. Mm. That is y equals 2 plus z minus x. And x equals 2 plus z minus y. Uh, actually, we can use one, any one of them. So I got y minus x. That's y minus x. This, this two equations are equivalent. Are equivalent. So. Uh, we subtracted the first one to the fourth equation.
equation x plus y plus z. x plus y plus z equals 0. We got x plus 2 plus z minus x plus z equals 0. And uh, uh, we got this 2, so that it is 2. 2 plus 2z equals 0. So z equals negative 1. Z equals negative 1. So we got uh, z equals negative 1 and uh, uh, y equals uh, 2 minus 1 minus x, that is 1 minus x. Then we subject it to the uh, fifth equation, that x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals 24. x squared, y squared is 1 minus x squared, z is negative 1. 24. So that is x squared plus 1 minus 2x plus x squared plus 1 equals 24. That means uh, 2x squared minus 2x plus 2 equals 24. We divide both sides by 2. x squared minus x plus 1 equals uh, 12 and we got x equal uh, x square minus x minus 11 equals 0 and we got x equals positive uh, uh, equals 1 plus or minus that's 1 plus 44, that's 2, that's 1 half plus or negative uh, square root 25, uh, 45 over 2. And uh, y equals, uh, y is 1 minus x, so that is uh, 1 half. Uh, negative or uh, minus or pl plus square root 45 over 2. So there's two points. x equals 1 half uh, plus square root 45 over 2 and y is 1 half minus square root 45 over 2 and uh, z is negative 1 and uh, 1 half uh, minus square root 45 over 2 and 1 half plus square root 45 over 2 and negative 1. Two points, two solutions. And then we subtract it to the uh, so we got four points. We got four points. Uh, there's two points. And there's another two points. And we compare all of those points. Maybe we can call these points P, uh, if we call these points P1, that's P1, that's P2, right? because it's not easy to write, that's P3, that's P4. So F for P1, that's negative 2, negative uh, uh, 2, 2, negative 4. 
subtract it to the f. Uh, the f is x y ten plus two z. F x y z equals x y plus two z. So f p one p one is uh, two two negative two. That is two times two uh, minus minus 4, that is 0. P1 is 2, 2, negative 4. Oh, no, sorry. Negative 4, so plus 2 times negative 4. So that is negative 4. And F P2, that is negative 2, negative 2 and uh, 4. So that is negative 2 times negative 2 plus 2 times 4. So that is 4 plus 8, that is 12. And f p3, well, that is 1 half plus square root 45 over 2 times 1 half minus square root 45 over 2. Uh, plus 2 times negative 1. That's, uh, that's 1 fourth minus uh, 45 over 4 uh, minus 2. That is uh, 23 over 2 minus 2. That is uh, 4. That's 90 over 2 and f p4 that is one half minus 45 square root 45 over 2 times one half uh, plus and times that actually is the same the same value. So uh, the maximum is uh, FP2, that is 12. The minimum is FP1, that is negative 4. That is the uh, Lagrange multiplier uh, with two constraints. With two constraints. Uh, there is two constraints. We use two constraints here. Two, two, two parameters. Okay, that's a large range multiplier with two constraints. I will stop here.